the people around you are not real. They're not real people. They're merely distractions. What they're saying don't mean a goddamn thing. The only thing that matters is what, how the fuck does it affect you? Every test, no matter what fucking test it is, during a test, the teacher cannot talk to you. They can't talk to you and tell you what the fuck to do. It's not till after the test they tell you what the fuck you did wrong. You didn't been through enough. If you on this video right now, you didn't been through enough goddamn tests to where you know the way you fucked up was you listened to these motherfuckers around you and you gave up too goddamn soon. Are you fucking serious? I want to talk about how niggas are way more prone to destroying than they are to building shit. Why is it that you ask a nigga to come through and help you do something like, you know what I'm saying, constructive and shit like that, nigga got a million excuses. But you tell a nigga, goddamn, you want to go hit a lick, this nigga all for it. You tell a nigga you want to goddamn... Go whoop a nigga ass, he all for it. Right or wrong. And that shit cool as a kid. Like, that shit cool. Oh, man, we riding and shit like that. But understand, why don't that nigga tell you, hey, man, I, I, I'm trying to goddamn, you don't want to work on this song? You don't want to um, try to build this goddamn doghouse? You know, trying to sell a doghouse? You don't want to try to fix this car up and shit like that? Why is niggas so much more destructive than they are productive? At what point in time do you recognize that the people around you don't give a fuck about building their own shit? Let's see here. It could be a nigga who got a goddamn little food, little, little hot dog man outside the club, little hot dog man, little food man. A motherfucker, every time he comes to the club, every week for a whole two years, come to the club, goddamn, eat with the food man. They don't never tip the nigga no nothing. You know what I'm saying? They eat with the food man, all good. Might even complain about the price being too high. Soon as that fucking hot dog man or whatever like that, don't give him a pack of mustard. These motherfuckers all of a sudden got all the power in the fucking world. Now they all about goddamn going down to the, the, the board of health and find out how to goddamn get that shit shut down. Call the police out there, bitch. Uh, this nigga ain't supposed to be out here selling no food. He out here selling food. Or a hair, or, or, or hair salon. A bitch be going there for three years straight, whatever like that. And then soon as goddamn she find out that one of the bitches that worked there, then fuck they, uh, her old man, whatever like that. Now she goddamn all about uh, going to the fire marshal and find and, and researching Alabama a uh, bit. Hey, I swear to God, y'all. Hey! She all about going to the goddamn... Uh, Alabama State Code and find out what business practices they ain't supposed to be in play here. Anything she can do to get this goddamn whole hair salon shut down out of envy, hatred, out of anger. But you can't get this bitch to try to start her own shit for nothing in the fucking world. Complain, complain, complain. But as far as being constructive and build some motherfuckers ain't for because see here where we at you get laughed at for having dreams. Understand? I want, I want y'all to hear me. You get laughed at for having dreams and aspiration and having goals. Not like, I'm, if you don't have white man goals, like, yeah, I'm trying to get this job. Yeah, I'm trying to get this job. Yeah, I'm going to go get this job. If you ain't trying to go work for a white man, whether well, the biggest thing you can get is a promotion to be closer to the goddamn white man that you're working for, then you're an idiot. You a, you a nothing ass nigga. You a dumb ass bitch. Uh, anything they want to call you. If you have, if you think outside the box. Y'all ain't hear me. Let me say something right here too. For all of you media channels, shout out to my nigga Doc Hicks. For all of you media outlets and shit like that, dog. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, dog. For all of you media outlets out there. I see y'all motherfuckers trying to vape now. Y'all motherfuckers trying to talk a little bit more raw and uncutting shit like that. So y'all watching my shit, but y'all don't want to give me no shout out. 
All I'm telling y'all to do is give a nigga a shout out. You see the shit live. Just say somebody, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Show love or something like that. See, I'm from I'm from Alabama, like real talk. So like down here, all that uh eh, eh, uh imitation is the highest form of flattery. I don't know nothing about that shit, dog. Down this bitch, if you copy a motherfucker, you hate. So you see my shit, you try and bite off my shit. My nigga, I didn't, I didn't shout it all you niggas out. Show the goddamn love back, dog. That's faggot shit. You know what the fuck going on? You see my goddamn numbers? Say something, nigga. Stop goddamn taking my shit. I appreciate everybody that hit that PayPal, dog. All AO Nation, I fuck with y'all. Y'all let me know if y'all want to be shouted out on the show. Anybody who give over $20... You'll be shouted out on the show if you want to be shouted out. If you're a new sub here, this is how we rock on this motherfucker, man. You go to the PayPal, donate, and you make sure you share this shit on your social media. So motherfuckers see what's going on in real life. All advertisers go to the Facebook messages, rappers too. And have a hundred dollar budget too. If you ain't got that shit, if you ain't ready to work, don't hit me up, dog. Go tell your folk about that shit so they can laugh at you, nigga. Nobody give a fuck what you want to do with your life, nigga. You ain't understanding yet. This the world. Your family don't support you until they can fuck. Tell you don't need them to fucking support you. Give a fuck about what you're doing for laughing and talking about you. And you out this whole playing around. Fucking off. Playing around. Like it ain't that goddamn serious. You ain't doing shit but getting older. And this, this motherfucker's out this whole working and working trying to get in the same spot you in. And you out this whole playing around lollygagging. Somebody gonna end up taking your shit. You gonna be a nothing ass motherfucker your whole goddamn life. You already a nobody ass nigga right now. A nothing ass bitch right now. If you trying to elevate, then goddamn elevate. And stop making goddamn excuses. You got these motherfuckers around you doing their goddamn job. They doing what the fuck they supposed to do. They discouraging you. Making you second guess yourself. You second guessing yourself enough. Now when they fucking uh, second guess you, you take that shit as confirmation to uh, do something else. Any motherfucker telling you to go work for the goddamn white man forever is a devil. That's not what you were put here to do. If you got a mind and you can hear what the fuck I'm saying, you are not supposed to be working for no goddamn white man. For no goddamn promotion to be closer to that goddamn white man that you fucking working for. If you got talent, if you creative, then fucking build on that shit and stop talking around with these motherfuckers that ain't got shit. The motherfuckers in the street is supposed to destroy shit. The nothing that these people are not real. Understand this. The people in the street, these nothing ass niggas are not real. The nothing ass bitches are not real. They're merely distractions. That the devil has put here. Can you hear what I'm saying? Because I'll turn the camera on. I'll turn this bitch off and we'll go ahead and, and make this a wrap. If you're not going to listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. The people around you are not real. They're not real people. They're merely distractions. What they're saying don't mean a goddamn thing. The only thing that matters is what. how the fuck does it affect you? Every test, no matter what fucking test it is, during a test, the teacher cannot talk to you. They can't talk to you and tell you what the fuck to do. It's not till after the test, they tell you what the fuck you did wrong. You didn't been through enough. If you on this video right now, you didn't been through enough goddamn tests to where you know the way you fucked up was you listened to these motherfuckers around you and you gave up too goddamn soon. You weren't working hard enough. You didn't want to sacrifice your goddamn habit. You didn't want to put everything you had into what the fuck you believed in. To where now you don't even know what the fuck you believe in. The first goddamn step of us coming out this goddamn hole is stop putting dirt on ourselves. So when it comes down to us continuing to do dirt, do dirt, do dirt, thinking we're going to clean the money up and we're going to... Uh, we're going to hit this leak, whatever like that. And with the money from this leak, we're going to goddamn turn up because that's what the fuck you hearing. That's what they putting in your face. Oh, uh, uh, hood stories and, and motherfucking success stories from the hood. It don't happen like that, dog. In real life, it don't happen like that. The shit they putting in your fucking, what you seeing on YouTube is not fucking real. That did not actually happen. 
if you are going to actually get out this hole that you in, you have to stop doing dirt completely and you gonna have to suffer on all levels, on every front, family, friends, life, niggas, bitches, everything, you gonna suffer, not have nothing, and still not do no dirt, because what you doing is, you dig, you, you climb, it's not fun to climb, it's not, it's not fun to dig yourself out that goddamn hole that you made for yourself, but you made it. The only question now is, are you gonna continue to put dirt on top of you, or are you gonna stop doing dirt and climb out that bitch? It may take two or three years for you to get all that dirt off of you. But once you do, once you clean, now you can start building. You can't build from underground. But first, you've got to stop putting that dirt in the atmosphere. I'm not talking no metaphysical shit, dog. The world is round. If you hit and lick, you're doing dirt, you're doing, you're doing evil shit to people. You're doing wrong. And you wonder why two months later, you broke. You wonder why. See, the niggas who hit the boy Pablo Juan, in six months, them niggas will be dead. They're going to be dead. I guarantee you, you go and look at these folks who do shit to folks like that. Go look at these folks' life. They don't have shit. They don't have shit built. Nothing that they can call their own. All they have is a motherfucker. Maybe. And I guarantee these these niggas like that, they don't have, they don't even have a job to call their own. But understand, even if you have a job, that's not your own. That's just a white man that's giving you money. Period. Point blank. The same way the white man give you food on the plantation. You just go to the plantation to work. What is yours is what comes out of your mind. By all means, if you could work for that white man and use what he gives you to build your own shit, all good. But if you think you're going to work for that goddamn white man that don't give a fuck about you till you retire, you got life fucked up. We're not in that age no more where grandma and your mom and them can retire after 20, 40 years. It don't work like that no more. Niggas is working for 10 years and getting fucking fired and having to start over. 15 years, 19 years and getting fired. Lay it off. If you don't start thinking about how you can get out this shit. In, what, so you got to start thinking, working, and no more dirt. Thinking, working, no more dirt. When a test is laid in front of you, no matter how easy the lick look, you're not going to go to jail for it. You're not going to die. You're going to get the money. And with that money, you're going to be paying lawyer fees for something else. You haven't noticed yet. You haven't realized yet that the world is round. No matter when it come back, it's coming back. The hole is already dug. You done already dug the hole. You in the hole. You wonder why the fuck you can't come out of that bitch. Because you keep on putting more dirt on top of it. More dirt. Another thing, another thing, the lick would get too easy. I couldn't, oh, uh, you couldn't do it? That's another two years. Now you're three years in a hole. You niggas is trying to get pears from apple trees. And getting mad when it turns into a, when uh, you're reaching up and, and coming down with an orange and what the fuck is wrong with this goddamn, oh man, what's going on here? This the tree you under, man. But you niggas don't want to walk over here because that's too long a walk. The orange tree down, I'm not going to go into that. I'm not, because I, I be trying to talk to y'all, and it just, I just. Niggas don't want nothing. Niggas ain't real. And once you realize that most of the people around you are, I don't give a fuck, they're merely distractions. And once you can mentally overcome those distractions to where they don't bother you anymore, what they say don't bother you anymore, you're tied to the world. You're tied into the world so much that you can't levitate. You can't get to the next level because you're tied down to the world. Now, once you levitate, you'll be above that and you'll be able to see shit clear, who's who and what's what. But at this point in time, I may be talking over your fucking head because you're not at this level yet to where you can actually see that motherfucker there said that shit just so it can make... The motherfucker wanted you to act like that. Wanted you to be distracted for the next two days. 
wanted you to go on social media and feed the fire. As long as you put putting energy in something negative, you're not going to get nothing out of it. But if you put that same energy, that same fire that made you want to go do this and do that into actually building, every time you get mad, you go back to, let me goddamn get this. Let me see if I can't goddamn try to read this shit one more time. Because this part of my plan. The first time you get mad, you make a plan. Second time you get mad, you start executing that plan. Third time, you start executing more. As long as when you get mad, you start, man, this fuck nigga. You ain't texting nobody. Because the person you texting ain't real. That's a demon that you texting. But that's your best friend. That's your mama. That's your daddy. That's your auntie. And they continue to feed you exactly what you need to keep you distracted. You keep going to work and you stay broke. You on a treadmill. You turn the speed up. You run as hard as you can, but you're not moving. But you got plenty of folks to talk to. But you're not going nowhere. 